Hi, I'm Patu from Free Cal. A quick update on my stock portfolio for July 2022. Um, regular viewers would know that I have been posting these updates more regularly every month uh, um, on Free Cal and every now and then, uh, at least in the last few months, uh, in video form. So this is something that I started that is direct equity investing is something that I started after my financial goals were well in place. That is after I had basically hit the target for my uh, child's future goal and also hit the threshold of financial independence uh, for my retirement. And only after that I started, I continue to invest normally for mutual funds and at the uh, uh, at the, I mean, uh, as of July 2022, the value of my stock portfolio is about 22% of my equity mutual fund portfolio and 11% of my total uh, retirement portfolio. Now, I had talked about how I chose the stocks I have uh, before. Two primary criterions, there should be no debt, it should be a healthy business, there should be no red flags in the business. I check my, um, my stocks using simply wall.st so that's a service that i'm subscribed to and i track my portfolio uh the, i track the corporate actions there and i have my own tracker for calculating returns and so on so uh so it has to it has to have no debt and it should be a healthy business and also it should be a low volatility uh stock that is its uh its price should not fluctuate too much so this is the let me just go here and show you the uh, this is the evolution of the portfolio the total portfolio from 2014 uh, the amount of investment i made from 2014 to uh, late 2018 was nothing i was only from late 2018 onwards i slowly started picking up invest uh, the investments and that's how it uh, looks like so far so this is the full picture of all the stocks i have a Asian Paints, Pedialyte, TCS, Infi, Hindustan Unilever, HDFC Bank, Dabur, Wipro, Colpal, Marico, and ITC. You can see the weights are decreasing um, here, and um, you can see ITC has done quite well recently. It's given the highest gain. Of course, the weight is only about four percent uh, currently, and the XIRRs and CAGRs weighted. Uh, investment weighted duration weighted CAGRs are, are, are shown here they're all calculated in my tracker I just use it so this is the average duration of the investment by weighting each investment and you can see that uh, many of the investment have just crossed one year only a couple of them are like two years so I mean it's still a very young portfolio I don't want to make a big deal about it uh, Wipro is the only stock in red as of now it's got a, a loss of about 16% uh, but of, of course, before dividends, after dividends, about 15% or so. So I usually compare the stock portfolio with uh, uh, an investment in UTI Nifty index fund and also an investment, an imaginary investment in the Nifty 100 low volatility 30 uh, index. So um, for the stock portfolio, the absolute returns, including dividends is 22.8%. For the UTA Nifty, there are no dividends, it's a growth plan, so it's 20%. For the Nifty Low Volatility 30 Total Returns Index, it's 20.41. And uh, the CAGRs are also shown. Uh, the XIRRs are also calculated. The XIRR for the stock portfolio is about 12.76. The UTA is a little bit higher, 14.7. Nifty Low Volatility 30, it's, for, it's about 15%. But uh, that's a, it's, I mean, XIRR is a very tricky calculation. It's not very intuitive the way it's measured. Um, if, because if you look at the time weighted CAGR, which depends directly on the absolute uh, gain, the stock portfolio will be a slightly higher. I mean, these things happen. Last month, it was very low. The stock portfolio had fallen by 2% or so. Now it's back up because the, the stocks have rallied or in the last couple, couple of weeks or so. These things happen. I mean, I don't want to make a big deal about it. But I've been ho holding on to this. Uh, I mean, these are all good companies, solid companies, and I have conviction in them. As long as there's no serious red flags, I, I, I'm not going to sell any of them. And uh, many people have asked me, how do I uh, invest every month? I usually look at the uh, weights and I chase the momentum. Within this portfolio, I chase the momentum. For example, if I look at the absolute gain, 
um, ITC has got this absolute gain. So I, if I have the money, I have not invested this month yet. But if, if I do, if if I if I were to invest today, I might put some more money and buy ITC. I will buy more of Pitlight. I'll buy more of uh, Asian Pines, more of Hindustan Unilever. So I'll I'll look at the absolute gain and chase the momentum within the portfolio without unnecessarily uh, churning. So let's see how it goes.